Welcome everyone um, uh, to this uh, night celebrating Mother and her paintings and Romy's house dear that Romy made about Mother, which is a beautiful work. I love it. <laughs> um, and uh, <clears throat> one evening when Romy was at my house uh, scanning Mother's paintings and drawings, and uh, uh, Charlie and Regina were there too, and I had found this little notebook with some of Mother's writing in it. And so I read it out loud to Romy and Charlie and Regina. And then Romy put um, this in the house journal. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to read it for you now. So this is by Mother. And it says on the cover, my short story plot is in here. <laughs> and then in parentheses is the name of the, of the story, Elijah Gribbons. <laughs> An old Georgia farmer who is very grouchy and getting grouchier by the day His one love is going off on fishing trips with his buddies. His wife never objects to this. In fact, she likes it and goes on visits to her sister and various female friends. Oh. Or one of them, <laughs> or one of them, visit her when her husband takes off fishing. They live very normal, typical and sensible sort of life, very typical firm life. Strangely enough, the old farmer has developed a sort of private dream world into which he escapes, and at such times. When his wife is around, she finds him very puzzling and grouchy. <laughs> <laughs> Old Elijah's dream is filled with a deep yearning to visit an herb gallery. Also, he longs for a daughter. He has nothing but sons. He doesn't even have a granddaughter. His wife has a complete lack of interest in art. She would think him insane to want to see some real paintings. This would, this would be out of the realm, this would be out of her realm of <laughs> things that people do for pleasure or for any other reason. Elijah found himself thinking of himself in the National Gallery in D.C. as he was going about the fields. Then he thinks well, for goodness sakes, why not? He has never taken a long trip alone, but he sure could try it. Immediately, he began to formulate a, a real plan of action. He didn't want his wife or anyone to know of this journey. Yes, Elijah realized it could be done and with a little chance of discovery. He would pretend to be meeting a friend to go fishing up in the mountains. 
Nellie would be happy for him to go. That evening he told her, and she was delighted, just as he thought she would be. Well, here was Elijah, face to face with Rembrandts, Vermeers, Constables, Turners, Picassos, Matisses. All the greats had been getting the once over. <laughs> His joy was almost unbearable. And the very early painter, painters of 14th and 15th century, he had not known about them, and they were a real thrill. It was almost more than Elijah could handle. He was practically beside himself. It was fun to have this all to himself. Well, it was getting time to eat again. The cafeteria was fun too. <laughs> Elijah went down and he selected a number of good things to eat. He sat down and soon a pretty girl sat down next to him. She was quite young. She smiled at him and then she began to eat and look as if she were trying to solve a problem. <laughs> Elijah couldn't keep from looking at her. She was just the girl he would want for his daughter. They begin to talk. He wants to give her art materials. He thinks of a plan. He inquires where she buys art supplies at. He goes there and has the store to phone her to come in. They tell her she has won 35 in art supplies. She selects them. Elijah plans to see her again in two months. They decide where they will meet. In two months, he returns and she is there, etc. His wife, his wife is thrilled at how happy he has become since he goes fishing to this new place. Elijah is now happy and glows with his secret art life and his daughter. <laughs>